Hi, in this session we will see how to do the body implementation for the transition code MM01 for putting up the default values while creating the material master. Okay, so let's have a look at material master creation with the help of transition code MM01. So here we have to select the industry sector and the material type. So here I am doing this for the material type ZXR7. Press enter. We have to select the multiple views based on our requirement. If you see here, here we have to enter the base unit of measure, material group. Here we have to enter the tax information. That is one, one. Then we have to enter the corner assignment group. Here we need to enter transition group, loading group, profit center. Okay, so all those data we have to enter, and some of the data are common at the metal code level, uh, at the metal type level. Okay, means those are fixed at the metal level. For all metal, the data is common. Okay, so for that, what we want, system should put up some default values. So we don't have to enter the values to avoid the data corrections, all these things. Okay, so for implementing this, generally what we'll do, so we'll be doing this, like we'll put a default base unit of measure, Default material group, tax information, account assignment group, and the profit center is maintained in a Z table. We'll bring from that. Okay, for this particular material type. So generally, for this type of activity, people either create a BDC program or they go they go for a BAPI. Okay, and they hard code in their program. But there is one more option with the help of body implementation. Okay, so in this session, we'll see. How to do that? The SAP has go to SC18. SAP has given one body that is called as body underscore material underscore REF. If you see the documentation of this body here, go to documentation display. You can read here the body underscore material underscore REF can be used to create the default data for your own of your own for your material okay so this, this means that we can use this body for putting up the default values now just click on display here the multiple is not take this means that we can have only one single implementation active per client okay for this body and this is a single use body now click on interface to check the method this is only one method that is create material double click on this here see you can see the all the importing parameters okay so based on the view selected now here there is one table given that is ct underscore mat underscore reference table okay this table actually contain the field selections sorry this table it underscore material underscore tables based on the uh, views which you selected that is basic data view plan data view okay all that view we can see in this table in the internal table okay now what we'll do we'll do the implementation for this body now here on the same screen go to create Give the name as Z body underscore REF4. Okay, I'm give this name here. Give the description body for default material values. Click on save. Now, 
double click on this method here we have to add our logic or code okay so one signature i will explain the code here i will just copy paste from my existing program now first declare a local work area of type lt underscore mat underscore tables type sp type okay as our requirement is we want to put default values for the mara for the mvke table that is sales view marc that is the plant view mbew this is the accounting view okay so we want to maintain default values for different views okay then you will have a better idea that's why we should know which views the user has selected on the screen like this on the mm01 we select those views okay so that all will come this table it underscore metal table okay now i also want to put a profit center as default that i have maintained in a z table okay so i want to uh, call the profit center from this table okay so that's why i am declaring one work area of this table type okay now for for the putting up the default values for taxes that is 1111 for all if you go with the signature you can see there is one tax table ct underscore says underscore tax do you click here this is the line type for a tax table okay so that's why i have declared here this work area now we want to do this only if the metal type is zxr7 that's why i have written here zxr7 and also if the t code is mm01 okay now on the screen this is the internal work area and this is the view same for mara and marc okay again go for signature you can see here i mara and i marc those are the importing parameters see the icon here hmm? those are importing parameters and this view those are the exporting parameters okay so if you want to put the value on the screen we have to pass the values in the views in the exporting parameter importing parameter values we cannot change okay that's why we have to use those view okay if you see the sales tax table it is also changing parameter mvk is also changing parameter okay so that's why first move the imara and imrc to the corresponding views now first if base unit of measure is initial what we want to put we want to put the ft2 as a default value that's why i have added here e underscore mara u means ft2 similarly i have put the metal group that is flat okay now second i want to assign the profit center by default as i told you i meant the profit center in a z table the profit center is at the plant level that means it is in the marc table so first we will check whether the user has selected the view plant data how to check that in the importing there is it underscore metal tables we'll read that table with the table name as marc okay and if it is found in the selected views then select the profit center from our custom table into e underscore marc profit center okay similarly check if the sales view selected if the sales view selected there is a tax table 
again go to signature you can see ct underscore says underscore tax this is a tax table in which we have to assign tax values that's why i have made a loop here i have made a loop here and i'm assigning the tax value as one also the upon assignment group for the mvk is zero one this is done for the sales view the last one that is the accounting view with the accounting accounting view selected that is a table name eb mbew then we want to assign the default valuation class as z300 okay so in this way we have written the logic for putting the default values now save and activate go back activate here you can see the implementation will be called okay so in this way we have implemented body now do the testing again go to mm01 transition code select the industry sector and the metal type is 07 press enter i have selected default views test now you can see here the base unit of measure is default ft2 the metal group is also defaulted press enter you can see the taxation 111 automatically is there okay so we don't have to enter so the constant group is 0 1 this also we can put default now here you can see the profit center which comes from the z table press enter press enter see the valuation class z300 okay save the material is created okay so in this way we can use this for putting your default material master value this saves a lot of time of user also it gives the accuracy in the data which is maintained okay so in this way we have finished this session that is putting out the default metal values metal master values okay thank you